we've booked into a little place called of all things bottoms up in um but it's right here in stone town and we want to wander around stone town we have to go down the stairs <laughs> facing forward this is um where we have breakfast in the morning it's a heck of a quaint i have to say but um there are about four stories of these steps for us to carry our backpacks up and down <laughs> but it's fun zanzibar is a mix of different religions 80 percent is islamic but if you look around the city that tall tower at the back is the anglican church built on the former slave market then as you move, you see a couple of minarets, Islamic mosques. There's a big one in front of me here. Then on the right, that's a Catholic church. So there's one big Catholic cathedral and one big Anglican cathedral. Then there's another minaret there. And then as I go across towards the sea, right beside where we're staying, you see an Indian temple, Hindu temple. It's a real mix of religions and um, quite interesting as a town so it's beautiful from up here but down on the streets it's a bit dusty and manky here we are kitted out ready for a motorbike ride up Zanzibar Island and both of us feel we're a bit old to be doing this. <laughs> not sure backpack on my back Rory's backpack on my front and we're Between ready to go sports and lovers on our way. Uh, this is the map of Zanzibar Island and the plan is that we're going to leave from Stone Town on the bottom left and go right up the west coast to the top of the island Nungui and do some snorkeling with dolphins and then come down the east coast and then about two thirds of the island turn in back to Stone Town. So it should be an exciting trip. We're going to do over 100 kilometers on a motorbike so it'll be fun just to be integrated with the culture and enjoy. Getting a bit of bus, driving around, and I've got a motorbike, a traffic light, so I can get the feel of it. Oh, bye. We are from the back of uh, the motorbike as we're driving up the island towards the north of Zanzibar. We're traveling um, up the island. We suddenly came around a corner and found that we're in a quite a busy like a little fishing harbour so we're going to stop here might go across there and see if we can buy some nice um, cooked mealies or something to enjoy along the way there's our there's my trusty driver it's got me here very safely and there's our little steed here we go now we're negotiating for a meal off, uh, off the street and one a little town here goes Brenda, the local market. We're going to have some chicken and some salads for lunch. Go through. These are some of the guys. Very Islamic, as you can see. You've made us up a nice plate of things, eh? Very nice. Yes. Oh, and we've got a place to sit for our lunch. This is our little restaurant. We're at Nungui Beach, which is a very lovely beach. Um, beautiful clear sea, right at the top of Zanzibar. Very popular, lots of people. The tide is coming in beautifully now. We drove up on our motorbike today from Stone Town, where we stayed last night, about 50, 55 k's to the very top of the island, and we had a lovely swim. Hi, we're having a meal at the Nungui Beach at the top end of Zanzibar. Early here, it's about 8 o'clock, up on Nungui Beach, a lovely clear beach, the tide coming in. And we are going on a snorkeling trip out to the Conservancy area, which they say has some of the finest snorkeling. That's our speedboat, I think, that we're going on. And we're going with somebody called Captain Jack. What a surprise. <laughs> Looking forward to it there. 
so it's lovely when the beach is sort of fresh and new. Everybody getting ready to go out on their uh, little safari cruises, snorkeling cruises. It's really nice. This looks like there's a hundred boats on the beach there. Yeah. The water's very, very clear and very blue. Look at that, eh? Video. So we've got out to the island now. They are the water's very blue and very beautiful looking for just snorkeling here. Um, but there are a lot of boats out here. Unfortunately I think we're gonna stop a bit further out. Here we are on a bit of a sandbar after we've done some snorkeling. We looked for dolphin but there wasn't a chance. There was 40 boats all chasing dolphin almost a bit dangerous and then people trying to jump off and see dolphins. We saw dolphins but no one saw them in the water I don't think. It's just it's a bit too commercial and even now in the sandbar we're having lunch and some fruits but um, a lot of people here. Yeah, the, the advantage of this place is the beautiful clear water and the white white sand. Probably the clearest we've seen and there's Brens there and uh, we're gonna lunch now. We're on the motorbike just going down the east coast of Zanzibar and looking at some of the beach resorts. Look at the lovely one we're looking at. Palm trees everywhere and the sea. It looks like waves on the other side. It's obviously a big lagoon or something. But yeah. Very beautiful but we're going down to probably another 20 k's before we decide to find lodgings. Brenda and I have travelled on motorbike down the east coast of Zanzibar. We've come to this beautiful little spot, a little village of Oroa. And this is a little budget hotel, would you believe it, called Moonshine. And it includes breakfast as well. And it's beautiful, there's palms everywhere. Look at this gold we struck. There's a little pool in front, and these guys windsurfing at the back and uh, a little restaurant as well a little pub so it is great to be here and we've been given a good deal as well and there is one very happy chappy very happy chappy and so am i and i'm gonna go in the sea right now this is the beautiful view we've got the beach is right here couldn't be closer from our um lovely little bungalow room and but look isn't that sweet they've made it up they came quickly and made it up all nicely so it was ready ready for us yeah we're going out for a swim on moon tide the teak lodge in the little village of Aroa on the eastern side of Zanzibar look how beautiful it is we really hit gold with this we've got given this Beach Lodge, we shouldn't have been, but we were blessed by the little manageress. And uh, we're going to go and enjoy a little swim and then have breakfast and then get on our way and go back on scooter back to Zanzibar's Stone Town. There's Roy, he's coming out on a lovely swim. This is the lovely dining room. <laughs> so close, you can step from your dining room onto the beach on the table. Go for a swim. I just want to do a little shout out to this incredible Moonshine Boutique Hotel. We arrived late in the afternoon, so half past four, not sure where to stay. Saw something on booking.com came in. They gave us um, the same price as booking.com were offering for a standard room and they gave us the most deluxe beachfront room instead which is one of their best rooms and look at this <laughs> this is what we've had such a treat such an incredible treat we walk from our room onto this beautiful beautiful beach their little restaurant is right there with I have to say probably one of the most superb chefs that we've come across in our travels incredible for a little hotel. It has a beautiful little swimming pool in the front and I just got it a shout out. They were the kindest. The staff treated us as though we were family coming back 
they, I just, I can't say enough about this little hotel. Moonshine on Zanzibar, Uro Uroa, beautiful. And then this is the view from the little reception area and uh, lounge. Oti, who's uh, the Maasai guard here at Moonshine. And he says he is security and this is boss. <laughs> this is boss. boss. Hi, boss. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Here we are. Hi. Coming down the road in Zanzibar. Off to Stone Town. Going back to Stone Town now. Bye. Coming now back to Stone Town in Zanzibar. Just look how heavy the tropical undergrowth is here. And there's mango huge mango trees. I've never seen mango trees so big. And just beautiful, heavily wooded, with palms. Just a lovely little drive. We're starting to rain! <laughs> Where are the windscreen wipers on this motorbike? I don't know. Oh, All their wares out on the road like this. Interesting fruit, eggplants, there's okra, masses of okra up there, pineapples, the avos are unbelievable, and spices being dried out. And there's my man. <laughs> I just have to show you this. My husband is driving like a local motorcyclist already. We just make our way through weave our way through everything somehow without any use of Google Maps my driver has managed to get me back to Stone Town <laughs> and right, we've arrived safely in one piece having traveled around the whole island northwest east south and uh, had great fun on our trusty little motorbike there's the bay in the late afternoon, it's 5 o'clock, very pretty. There's Brenda eating a roasted mealy. Standing on the edge of the pier in Zanzibar on our last evening here. This is the every night night market mango banana nutella mr nutella nyami nyami leka sunga gunda makarne karne fuchasi fuchasi kako kweme loka pere and we are having mango check this out the mangoes here are so delicious hello next family how are you today it's delicious food, shawamas, lovely things. And this is our pudding. Yes, for Mr. Nutella. Mr. Nutella.